Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. This is your girl Empress Gem here to drop these jewels for the sign of Aries. This will be your Energy Healing Weekly Read for the week of April 5th to April 11th, 2020. Please keep in mind these messages may not resonate, so take what's for you. As a reminder, you might hear a little cursing, you might hear a little noise because of kids. If either of those will bother you, please click off. So without further ado, Aries, let's get started. Okay, so Aries, I see here that you're dealing with a past situation. Um, honestly, seeing that you've been victorious when it comes to a past situation. <clears throat> um, but I do feel that there is an element of upset. So your first message out is you're being shady. Fuck them. And when I was shuffling out your cards, the message I got was devil not welcome here. Okay, so. Let's clarify up some of your energy here. The center of your read, you have an emotional loss here, five of cups. I feel that there's a sense of regret here in the decisions that you've made. Somebody's hurting. I try to keep these readings focused on you guys' energy. So Aries, I feel like you're the one who might be hurting. Let's see. Oh yeah, double confirmation, five of cups. You're disappointed. I feel like you're disappointed in how things balanced out here. Or you could be disappointed in the way that things weren't balanced. Yeah, it was stressing you out. You got tired of investing in this situation with this past person, so you decided to move forward to bring balance to yourself emotionally here. Uh, this could have been a third-party type situation. Um, or it could have just really been another level on the outside or somebody who probably was trying to keep you around. But I see that, um, yeah, you put an end to this. You, you lay down... All your, well, most of your mental anxiety you laid down about this situation because you saw how it wasn't bringing you everything that you wanted. Yeah, you were, wanted to be independent. You were feeling codependent on the situation. I felt like you wanted to be independent. So you manifest blocking the situation out of your life because of the mental stress it was causing. You saw the truth in the situation here. You saw mental clarity in the situation. You decided to tend the source in the situation. I feel like you wanted to know what was going on and the universe allowed you to know. They helped guide your intuition. I feel like you guys are listening. Yeah, you are listening to yourself. You decided to change your fate and become a more stable, solid person. Again, like I said, Ten of Swords putting an end to all this mental conflict, all these deceits and lies, all these unknown things, or things that maybe this person thought you didn't know. But I see where you you clearly you knew, and that's how you were able to get this victory and success here on this past person. You stay grounded throughout the situation while they were out here doing their business. Yeah, you stay grounded. Tyler Murray came in and worked right along with you. You knew it was coming. You waited for it patiently. You saw the truth and clarity of everything that was going down. You said, you know what, let me just sit back and let this person put a nail in their own coffin. And I feel like that's what you did. You remain independent, remain focused on yourself, working on yourself. You put the rest of the situation mentally and begin to manifest for yourself. And as you did that and stayed grounded in it, the time moment came. I feel like it came very freaking quick, but then you were able to passionately move forward, move forward to things that you know you wanted to do. I feel you were able, to, yeah, that's pretty much where you're at. I feel right now you're trying to emotionally withdraw from the situation here. And that's why your starting energy is that Five of Cups energy. Yeah, I feel like there's still some things you want to know here. You feel that finding out whatever secrets it is that you don't know will change your dynamic and will cause something new to spark up in your relationship here. And that new opportunities will come together. You guys will reconnect. I mean, that could be the case. Let me see what this moon card is for you guys because I feel you guys really want to know. Yeah, it's, it's conflict and competition. I don't think you, yeah, <clears throat> you need to lay him the rest. Lay this other partner. Have control and lay it the rest. Love yourself first. There's better love that's coming towards you, better happiness here. I just feel like you, you have something. You seem like you're a more solid person here. And that's why this person is like still around. You can't change everybody, you know. 
Yeah, right now you're in a space where you're not sure what to do, but honestly, your your stress is causing you a lot of stress, and I feel you need to decide to end this and this cycle here. You need to see the truth and clarity. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. You got to see that it's interfering with you. You got to see that interference being caused by this past situation is what is bringing you this anxiety in your life. If you want this new opportunity to be happy here, yeah, you need to end the cycle. You really do. Everybody else sees that you're moving forward in a positive manner, in a more balanced material type manner. You're getting your shit together. Yeah, you're bringing lots of balance to yourself when it comes to the past situation by moving on towards your happiness. But again, you just need to be assertive and continue to cut that shit out. I think that you fear being heartbroken. You fear the heartache and the loss. You fear the healing process that you have to go through. Yeah, you don't want to go through that and you're trying to like put a pause to that. But you have to remember that you you know the truth. You have clarity on the situation. That's why you're laying it to rest. You know that it's interfering with your victory here. You need to put an end to this. I feel you probably need to do some more meditation. Go within yourself. Because the ending is here. Whether you want to see it or not, Aries, the ending is here. You have transformation as your outcome. It's time to transform. You've been manifesting for a long time. You wanted to know the truth. The truth is here. Yeah, you need to move forward to this new beginning here. You need to move forward because you're allowing things to interfere with your new beginning. You're allowing the back and forth, the in and out with this person to interfere with your new beginning. You need to love yourself. Be true to yourself. Look at this. You have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, followed by the Ten of Pentacles underneath the deck here. And then the Devil. And I say the Devil not welcome here. What's behind that? The Devil, the Eight of Cups, and then the Five of Wands, Four of Swords. That's confirmation. And then Aries, there you are with the Fool card, taking a leap of faith. You need to embody and nurture yourself here. The only queen that's really missed. Oh, no, she's already on the deck. You're already a stable person. You've already taken the steps you need to be more independent financially. Now you need to love yourself, see the truth, and be assertive. Take that action because your empress moment is here, but you're allowing this past situation, this devil that ain't welcome here, to interfere with this future that you have for yourself, this victory. So we're going to get your messages out of the rebel deck for the remainder of the week or until you get your update on Wednesday depending on how you feel about it what messages you want to keep carrying with you let's see do I let's get three <clears throat> one more I gave you four I'm going to read this one first because it really shot it far it says what the hell are you waiting for get that shit done if you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Told you, you got to start loving on yourself, taking care of yourself more. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fat. Clean yourself up. And that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The well has your back. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. So like I said, devil ain't welcome here. That person is the devil. You need to continue to focus on yourself. That project, that person, that idea is you, Aries. So focus on you. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you heard. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you like any of that message that was coming through, hit that notification bell so that you are aware of when my next videos upload. I will talk to you guys on Wednesday for the collective read to see how we're doing. You guys take care. See you later, Aries.